I'm Larry Menti. Welcome back to our primetime coverage of the Republican National Convention in Cleveland. This is a special edition of Jersey Matters. I'd like to introduce you to Virginia Haynes, who is an Ocean County freeholder. She is also a delegate to the Republican National Convention. Thanks for joining us this morning. Oh, it's my pleasure. So let me get you, before we deal with any of the alleged controversy, let me get your highlights from last night. Um, oh, there's so many. I think just, I think the the speakers that they put on last night was a very good start for the opening of the convention. Um, just with, I mean, I could go to the you know, the end of the list with Rudy Giuliani, who was just dynamic, and with his comments that he made, um, he was good. Of course, hearing from the the mother uh, who lost her son in Benghazi. That's Pat Smith. Very, very good. And then Marcus Luttrell, and then the gentlemen that were at Benghazi. We were fortunate to have heard them at one of our RNC meetings. So uh, we had seen pictures and we had heard them once before. But it's still, you know, just a, you know, just a, an unbelievable story that they were there when it all happened. And I think it's the speakers, I said, the speakers they had just, um, it's going to be a very good start uh, for the rest of the convention, for the high life of Thursday night, you know, when uh, Donald Trump gives his speech. Now let's deal with some of the uh, controversy. Okay. So you had this big night. Everybody was happy with it. Melania was getting rave reviews right after it ended. I heard somebody say the the Republican Party has a new star. This is the this is Donald Trump's secret weapon. Everybody was happy, and then the controversy started with allegations of plagiarism. People are playing the two speeches of Michelle Obama from 2008 and Melania Trump uh, from this year back to back and they're saying they're almost exactly, there's segments of it that are almost exactly the same. What do you make of that? Is that a big deal to you? It's not a big deal because I feel there's much more things of interest and more important things than to worry about what Melania said or what Michelle Obama said eight years ago. Let's talk about the issues. And she did give a very good speech and she was speaking from her heart. She talked about her story and how she became to America and how she became a citizen and things such as that. And I feel that the media just should stop picking that apart and let's talk about the issues. But plagiarism, if there is plagiarism, if there is plagiarism, if there is plagiarism, plagiarism undid the campaign of Joe Biden when he was yes. running for president. It hurt Rand Paul when he was running, but she's not running. No, she isn't running and, you know, it's, it's very possible that maybe, but I don't believe that they went and looked at Michelle Obama's speech and if she did have help writing it, because I've heard some say that she wrote the majority of her speech and then I've heard some say that she had some help with speech writers, but I mean, it's, I don't think that they went and looked at Michelle Obama's speech and then did the same, would purposely, if, if it is true, did the same, you know, wording. Um, I think, you know, because it was probably looked over and I'm sure Donald probably looked at it himself and I'm sure Mel Melania it did also. I don't think if there is some similar words that anything was ever intentional, but I mean, just to... If it was a speechwriter, should they be fired? If a speechwriter did that and it's plagiarism, probably. Because Absolutely. they know better than that. They no, know absolutely. that they shouldn't be doing something like that. And, and to go and put that black mark on Melania's speech, um, if it is possibly true, which I don't believe it is, then they should be. They should be held accountable for what they did. And fairly or unfairly, it hurts the party because the, a positive story today turns into a negative story today because of one thing. Well, the, uh, well, the, the media d stop concentrating on that and like, start talking about the other issues that are happening around the country and what people said, the other speakers, what they said last night, and stop concentrating on what Melania said. That's yeah, although idea. Melania, got, yes. she got big, great reviews she if it did. wasn't for that. If it wasn't for that, she'd be getting exactly. great reviews. Let me, uh, the other story, the other alleged controversy, this one took over, but what the media was harping on before this was the alleged chaos in the convention. That's, I saw that banner, chaos in the convention, and it was all over the rules. It was parliamentarian stuff. It was a group of delegates trying to unbind all the delegates for a roll call vote. Yes. Had the roll call vote been taken, would Trump still have won? Yes. And see, this was all handled, you know, first of all, it was handled, it was discussed at the regular rules of the RNC meeting. It was discussed at the convention rules meeting that they had, and they, it was, the, the rule was not changed then, and they were not happy with that, you know, that that happened. They were trying to get it done. They didn't have 
from what I was understand, they didn't have the votes on the floor or the signatures that was required in order for that to happen. You looking forward to Chris Christie tonight? Oh yes, yes. He always is a great speaker. I'm looking forward to all of the speakers. I mean, it's a great list of people that they have. Um, this to me, and I've been, my first convention was 88 in New Orleans, and then it was Houston, and I guess then it was, I think, San Diego, and Philadelphia, and New York, and Minneapolis, and Tampa, so I mean, and this one is, is really very exciting, and it's the, they put a lot of work into it, the uh, Committee on Arrangements, and Jeff Larson, and Steve King from um, Wisconsin to make sure, you know, I think the, the way the stage is set up, and of course, this is a different venue because normally it's on a, uh, a basketball arena or hockey arena, and now we're on a basketball arena, which is very it's smaller, the uh, base where all the delegates sit. But I think they've done a magnificent job. They just want to make this a, a great experience for those that are coming and then also for the American people to, you know, to, that are watching. Little question that when they say Chris Christie's coming up, standing ovation by the New Jersey delegation, of right? Course. Okay, cool. just wanted to check. Well, I happened to sit, you know, with behind the governor this night, and the, you would have thought he was running for president still with the cameras and everything. He may still think up. he is. No, no, no. He's, he's doing a good job. I he know. Is, but thank you very Virginia, much. Virginia Haynes, Ocean County freeholder and delegate to this convention. Uh, thank you very much. We'll be right back with more coverage from Cleveland at the Republican National Convention.